How's it going, guys? King Brower here. Welcome back to another episode um, of Subnautica. This has been a freaking, freaking amazing adventure so far. And there's only more to come. Um, I don't know why I can see all the lockers. I guess that's a bug right there. Um, but I want to back up a little bit really, real quick. There's a couple stuff that I want to do today. I don't know if we'll be able to um, do them. You know, finish, you know, do all the stuff that I want to do. But... I want to get some upgrades first. Actually, actually, actually. Ooh. I'm, I'm hitting something. Um, actually, I'm just going to park it right here. I want to show you guys a couple things first. All right, guys. So this is the thing that I wanted to show you guys. I went searching for gold at back at the islands. And um, when I went to search for gold, I also got a diamond. Now, this diamond, I'm pretty sure we can start building our laser cutter with the diamond. Um, if that's so, we can go back to that little, yeah, we can. Oh, this is going to be great. And we have everything that we need. We only need one titanium. Um, so if we come back here and you go on tools and we, yes, we can get the laser cutter. Now, we're going to be able to go back to that little, um, crash point that we saw a while back that, um, that, that's like at the, like the third episode of the game. Um, if we go back there, we'll be able to cut that, that door that was near it, um, that we can never, you know, open. So, oh, let's grab the sea moth, cuz, cuz, since we're going that way, I want to check something too, guys. Um, so, to get upgrades for the, for the Cyclops, I think, I think, I'm not sure. I think though that you get them from the Aurora crash point. So if we're right, you know, if we're, I hope that we're right. We can get some, we can get some upgrades for it. Cause I mean, we really do need upgrades for it. As of now, I'm pretty sure that um, the Cyclops can only go a hundred in death. So that's not, you know too much we need a lot more of that in order to I'm pretty I, I think we're just you know we're underneath of it we need have to travel f that much um, so but yeah I'm pretty sure we can only go a hundred uh, meters down which is not that much I'm not sure if that's it but I mean I tried to Cyclops around um, yesterday and I only went a hundred you know feet down and that was about it you know I, I didn't even go that much and that was you know disappointing because I mean the sea moth can go like um, can go like um, at least 200 you know meters down by itself without no upgrades so that yeah that's like something that I have to look into because I mean all right so yeah, like I was saying guys, okay, so we got the seal door right here, and we can cut it with the laser cutter. I don't know why it's not doing the animation, but, um, wait. I'm trying to, oh, I'm trying to weld it. <laughs> oh my god. Here we go. Five. There we go. That's the animation that I wanted to see. So we're cutting this at 99, 9%. There we go. Uh, you gotta be close enough to the door in order to cut it. So that's one thing, guys. I wonder what we can find, you know, behind here. And we're running low on oxygen too. I should have brought my other oxygen tank too, since we were gonna come this far. Caution. Thirty seconds. Uh, we got thirty seconds. We got thirty seconds. Come on, hurry up, laser cutter. I feel like this is taking longer than it should. Emergency. Oh my god, we're... Okay. Oh no, we might die. We might die. <gasps> no, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Woo -hoo -hoo. Guys, we barely made it. <laughs> we barely made it back to a Seema. Jesus. If we run out of oxygen, if we run out of oxygen, we actually just die like that, you know? Like... <laughs> we don't even have a chance to like see our 
um, health bar go down. We just die instantly. What are these? I always see these guys around. I feel like they look like the upgrade modules, but like you can't really get anything out of them. Maybe that's something that they will implement later on. We got a chair. We know about that. Um, do we know about that actually? Let me pull out my scanner. I guess we do. I didn't see if we can fabricate any chairs, to be honest. But, um, this cargoes, I feel like they should have something. This should be more rewarding, you know, you know, opening one of these things, but it's not like, it's pretty, pretty not rewarding at all. We didn't find anything, anything that can help, help us, you know, nothing exciting. Wow. That's, that's really disappointing. Not that, like, you know, it was, like, so much to, like, you know, get the laser cutter, but, I mean, that's pretty disappointing. I feel like we should have got something, something better. Where did I put my Cyclops? There it is. Alright. Let's go underneath the Cyclops. And... There we go. I love how this, I love how this thing just spins around and freaking parks you back in the Cyclops. That's so amazing. Okay, so... Um, the upgrades that I was talking about with the Cyclops, I'm pretty sure that they are in the crash, in the crash all the way over there. So we're going to have to go all the way near there in order to, um, you know, check. I'm not sure. Like, I don't even know, to be honest, if this is the right way where to get the upgrades for the Cyclops. I hope it is because... You know, I did do some research about it, but, you know, I don't know if it's, like, right here or if it's going to be somewhere else. So, that's that's the only thing that I'm worried about. Because um, I did do some research, but I didn't do, like, the biggest research ever either. Like, I just did, like, some. Uh, we were going this way. Yes, this way. <laughs> we were about to go just in circles. <laughs> that's crazy. As you guys can see, my power is like at three, almost 350. That's another thing that I saw that I noticed. Um, the power on the Cyclops, it goes by fast. And I don't know if there's anything to upgrade it with yet. Um, I mean, you got power cells. I heard I heard of um, solar panels, you know, that you'll be able to like put solar panels on top of the Cyclops. I don't know if that's a thing still. Um, I haven't tried it yet, but I don't know if it's a thing still. I don't know if that's like still something that you you're able to do. Oh, I hear the Reaper Leviathan. There he is. The good thing about the Cyclops, he can attack the Cyclops. We can get as close as we as we want to him, and he won't. Oh, he just went through the ground. Whoa, that's crazy. See. We're pretty close to him at this at this like closeness he would like you know come and attack us but he's not i did do a test <laughs> with a sea moth i came close with the cyclops and i pull i pull out my sea moth and like as soon as i pull it out he just came and freaking tried to kill me and like attack me it was crazy it was pretty pretty crazy but we're getting close to the freaking um crash site or the bomb site I guess you can call it now another thing I learned too there's a lot of Reaper Leviathans around um, the freaking Aurora I mean like a lot guys um, I did like a whole circle around the you know around this area and I found like five Reaper Leviathans everywhere I mean that's pretty pretty he hectic um, Another thing I discovered too is that freaking uh, we're here is that freaking um, floaters can attach to the cyclops and they can actually pull you back up. I <laughs> I was trying to see how far down I could go. Oh my god! Oh my god! It's fucking shaking. Jesus, that 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 doesn't feel good at all. Alright, so my guess is right here is where we parked this. Oh, 
Oh god, I hope nothing bad happens right now. I really hope. Is it safe? That's a real question. I don't think it's safe. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright. Let's get out on our CMOS. Hopefully everything goes well. Now, oh my god, this is actually scary, guys. We got these crabs around. Ow! You attacked me already, you little... Ah! Freaking leave me alone. We can open these supply crates. And what is this? Oh, we got a battery. Ah! Get out of here, boy. Get out of here. Oh, we killed him. Yes. Uh, what is this? Oh, we got another signal. Yes, that's good. Now we got... Oh my god, these are all everywhere. These are everywhere. Just gotta open every single one of them. Power cell. Oh my god. Thank you for that. Uh, now the thing, I heard that you can repair something around here. I'm not sure what you can repair either. Oh my god, everything's shaking. What the heck? Med kit, I'll pick the med kit up. I don't think I brought any med kits with me. Look, this dude, this dude is gonna be ready to attack me. Huh! Take that. Take that. Oh my god. Dead. You dead, boy. Alright, what are we looking for? Oh my god, he's coming for me. Ah, freaking crabs. I hate crabs. They're everywhere, too. Can't do nothing about them. Why can I not go up? Oh my god, what am I doing up here? What am I freaking doing up here? I shouldn't even be up here. There's so many more, and they just keep coming. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. I don't think we're in the right spot. Oh, we might be. This looks like a path. Uh. Oh god, Did that crab just. <laughs> oh, I'm pretty sure that. <laughs> oh, look, it's coming for me. Leave me alone, dude. Leave me alone. You don't want none of this. You don't want none of this. The man versus the crab. Ah. He's dead. Your buddy is dead. Ah. Huh. Yeah, you better keep jumping. Keep jumping around before I kill you. Huh. God, no. I would not let you kill me. Oh, we got another med kit. That's good. We got to drink some water. Woo. Water's helpful. All right, hopefully, I think we're going the right way. Huh. We almost got glitched right there. Oh my god, everything is burning! Jesus! What is this? What is this? What's going on here? Is it, what is that? Oh my god, we're inside the Aurora. We're inside the Aurora. Um, I'm guessing we're gonna go have to go down there. I wanna check if there's something over here, though. Is the fire gonna hurt us? The fire doesn't hurt us yet. Okay, that's... That's something good. What is that back there? It's like something shiny. Oh, 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 oh! Captain, all systems online. I died. What did I lose? Oh my god, I died. I actually... <laughs> oh god. Gotta swim back over here. Hopefully there's no Reapers, Levitans around here. Please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Oh, uh, now we gotta climb. Oh, no. We definitely lost the power cell. God dang it. We lost it. I mean, not that, the, you know, a power cell is not that hard to build, but, like, I mean, it saves us freaking resources. Yeah. 
Now we gotta climb all the way back up here. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I don't want it, none of you. Leave me alone. 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 I can't believe that it killed us that quick. I mean, <laughs> that was quick. We didn't even have like a chance to react. They should do it so like we can actually like go back and like get our stuff if we are close enough. They should do that. That that should be something, you know. Ah. So fire does hurt you. Let me see if my stuff is here. Is that my stuff? No, it's not. No. I'm not even gonna try. I'm not even gonna try. We'll just go all the way down here. Oh my god, I feel like this is more dangerous than dangerous. Why have we just see like a Reaper level? Oh, okay. The, the noise just like stopped out of nowhere. Oh, we are gonna have to go underwater. Okay, hopefully there's no animals in here. Uh, check drive core damage and rotor capacity something. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. What is this? Power efficient? Yes! We got the power efficiency module for the Cyclops. That was one of the things that I wanted to get. Uh, we're gonna have to get the welder and put it on slot 4. And then do 4. Can we fill weld this? Yes, we can. Yes, we can, boys. This is what I'm talking about. Gotta weld this part now. I'm pretty sure this is what stops the radiation too. Mmm. Mmm. Tell me I don't have to go underwater. I don't want to go underwater. Why if there's like a Reaper Leviathan? Oh. We got hurt. Oh my god, here we go, here we go, here we go. Uh, uh. Is there any modules on this one? Nope, there's not. Uh, that looks nice. That looks fine. We are gonna have to go underwater. Fuck. Okay, everyone act nice. Please. Thank you. I'm just here. I'm just a. I'm just a repairman. I'm the welder. I will fix ya. I will fix ya up. Vetty, vetty well. Vetty well, vetty well. Okay, so this one looks nice and clean. On to the next one. On to the next one. All right, there's five more leaks going around here. Gotta get some air first. Let me go back down. This one over here. This is actually pretty cool. I'm I'm actually glad they you know that we actually can go inside the rotor and do this stuff. That's like a great great addition on the game. I'm actually happy about that. It's awesome. It's freaking awesome. Oh, I, there we go. I was like, damn it, I can't weld that one. But yeah, we can. All right, now there's two more leaks. There's two more leaks that we got to find. Pretty sure I just saw one, and the other one is over there. Ooh, we're going to stop all the radiation in the freaking Erodas. One more. One more, boys. Attention. High energy particle containment. So the drive record decontamination sequence initiated. Aquatic radiation levels are estimated to return to safe levels in T minus three days. Ten hours. Um, 
I don't know what the what that does. It says three days, but three days like I wonder what happens in three days. What's what's around here? What's what, what can we oh my god, this is like magical. Oh, I'm not going. Yeah, no. No. That's not happening. No. There's no way I'm going through there. No. Don't even think about it. <gasps> oh my god. See? That's why you don't go through there. Oh my god, that sound is so close. I thought I was gonna die. So guys, we're back at the base and we got a little Cyclops over here. Now, we're going to go back into it because um, what I was looking for um, was the power efficiency module, which we got to come over here. And the way we upgrade this baby is over here. If we click on this, we do power efficiency module. And now we are at 400% efficiency. Now, there's a question I gotta ask you guys. Look, um, I want to try something, but um, I want I want your opinion on it because I don't I, I don't understand why why the Cyclops does this. Now let me let me hold go back go back go back go back go back a little bit more. Okay, now I I feel like this should be. Hold on, hold on. Let me let me go. You know. This way, where there's more space underwater. <laughs> now, check this out, guys. Um, I want you guys to check this out real quick. Now, if I go and I descend and I go down, we're obviously going down. That's a good thing. But when I let go, my Cyclops. It's not doing it. It's not doing it anymore. That's weird. That's so weird. Guys, I kid not. A minute ago, when I had my Cyclops going down, it would actually rise up. Okay, I guess I guess it's not doing that anymore. That's really weird. <laughs> um. But yeah, guys, I want to show you a couple other things that um, that I didn't really have planned, but I feel like I should show you. I hate how we can see the base. Like, I we know the base is right there. Um, but we're going to do um, a little bit of storage in our Cyclops. We're going to build some storage into it. And... Um, we are going to get it ready for our next adventure, next episode. Next episode, we're actually going to travel to the big, big island. And I know, I'm pretty sure I know where it is. Um, it's not too far away from here. But it is going to be something really cool to explore, too. So, I'm just going to get out right here and... We're gonna head down. We're gonna go get some supplies real quick. So we're gonna need a lot of titanium and glass, of course. I did stack up my thing with titanium, which is a good thing. Um, let me put all these um, tools that we're not gonna use for now. Um, let me put them back in there. Let me put this oxygen tank in there and the sea glide in there. I'm not. I don't think we're gonna use any of those. Um, now we're gonna get all these quartz. Um, I think that should be enough, and we're gonna make some glass. Um, you guys, you guys are gonna see what we're gonna do with this. Um, it's gonna be pretty exciting. I think it's gonna be pretty exciting, and it's gonna be a good way to you know finish the episode. Um, that was a really cool adventure going to the Erota and going inside of it, and you know destroying all that um, radiation. You know, putting it away. Um, we do have to capture what happens in three days. I'm not sure what's going to happen in three days. I never really seen what happens in three days, um, to be quite honest with you guys. We are going to need some titanium, of course. I, I almost left and didn't grab titanium. Like, 
That would have been too funny. Just kidding. It wouldn't be fun. It wouldn't be funny at all. It wouldn't be funny at all. But let's go down here. Oh, we got stock. Oh yeah, I forgot to show you guys. Um, we got our module for the CMOS in here. I think next episode we'll name it and color different colors too. It's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool thing to do. So we're gonna go over here and we're gonna come up here. Uh, okay. So if I'm right. If I'm correct, correct toe, we can build a fabricator in here. So let's build one. I'm not sure where I'm gonna put it yet. Um, we can actually build like in all like different spaces in the freaking um, Cyclops, which since all of our computer stuff is over here, we'll just build it like right here. Now. Oh. Now, if we click on it, can we click on it? What is this? What is this? No, I don't need that. Okay, cool. So now we can actually go into it and you know, build stuff from here, which is gonna be cool. If we don't have, if we don't want to get out of you know, the Cyclops. Power cell. Power cell. Two battery, two silicone, and the batteries are okay. Okay, so I guess, I guess we can't complain about you know the power cells. It's not like there are a lot of materials because it's not. Uh, we're gonna do a couple of lockers though, and we're gonna do. Eh, eh. One. Right there, and then we're we'll build one more. We're we'll doing this side. There's gonna be two. I don't think I did it in the same. Yeah, I think that's good. Now, can we build? Oh, we're gonna need a quartz for that. But it might fit. Yeah, it can fit in there. Okay, we need some water. We need some water. We gotta go get water and quartz. So I'll be right, right, right back. Another thing I wanted to show you guys, these things right here, they don't work as you know, as like we can use and use them to farm um, fishes. It, it just doesn't work at all. I had them sitting there for like three days and like, I mean, three days, like, you know, like my, like, you know, real life, real life, three days and it did not work at all. So uh, I'm just going to disconstruct all of them because it obviously didn't work. Which is a, it is a shame because you know I wanted to you know have them all in there, but you know if it doesn't work, you know what what can you do about it? So um, that was another thing that I wanted to show you guys. Uh, let me grab some quartz. I'm not sure how many we were gonna need, but I hopefully that's enough. And let's go back down to the sea moth. I mean the cyclops. Uh, I did try doing the solar panel on top of the cyclops. It doesn't work anymore. So that's 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 a sad thing too. And for the pressure of the, so we can go even, you know, down um, on the, you know, so we can go like deeper down, you know, like it doesn't work, you know, uh, we got to get a fragment. We got to look for those fragments. I'm not sure where we can find the fragments for it, but yeah, the only way to get the fragments for the Cyclops is, I don't know. <laughs> Because I don't know where to find them, <laughs> which is a sad thing. Because I, I really, you know, I really want, you know, those fragments. Um, if we, if we want to go to those heat signatures, I'm pretty sure those heat heat signatures are like deep, deep down. So I'm gonna have to look for them either way. So, um, but I, I just don't know where to look for them. I will do some research on it to see where we can find them, but as of now, you know, guys, I I really don't know where <laughs> where we can get them. I did find this um floodlight, um, which we can put them. It says that you know it can be put in all types of environments, so I'm guessing that you can put them underwater too. Um, that is pretty cool. Uh, we got a pot. What else can we put? We do got a chair. Um, could we put a freaking aquarium in here? Is that a thing? No, I don't think that's a thing. 
Yeah, we definitely can't do that. Uh, what about, what about, what about, what about, what about some of these? Nope. Cannot do that either. Uh, I don't think we can put any of these in. They won't fit in here. Appliances. Can we do aquariums? We can do aquariums. That's pretty cool. That's pretty neat. I don't really need aquariums though. So, like, <laughs> that's not useful for me. Um, I think those lockers would be good for now. You know, we got one, two, three, four. You know, we got six lockers that we can use as of now. I don't think we're gonna use any more. If we do, we can always build them. Um, I'll even put some resources in here so I know that like I have some stuff in here that we can use to build, you know, stuff as we need. Um, but for now, that looks fine to me. I mean, you know, I get up from here. I go directly to here if I need something you know my fabrication right here and then we got the rest over here so I think we're fine I think we're pretty fine on that you know on know that um, yeah we're good we're good um, I mean everything looks good so far the side club is looking pretty we got the life pod I'm gonna check if we have any more messages on the communications relay I haven't checked on it in a while well yeah we don't have any messages on it we can grab this and we got, you know, I ha we haven't been in the life pod in forever. And oh my God, I mean that picture of it, of the Cyclops, that just looks amazing to me. Is that a floor near it? Guys, these things are freaking dangerous for the Cyclops, which I don't know how. I mean, like it just pulls the freaking Cyclops up so easily. You guys wouldn't believe how easily it pulls the Cyclops up. And like, it sucks, cause if you're trying to travel somewhere and got a floater in your freaking Cyclops, you better worry. You better worry, cause that sucker will freaking flip you. No problem. I like how this freaking Cyclops is lighting this whole thing. Wow, that's amazing. Is there a way to shut off the lights on the Cyclops though? That's another thing that I was looking forward to, to do, cause um, if the lights are still on, then it's probably, you know, can we shut them off? Well, nope, it doesn't work. No, nope, it doesn't work at all. I guess it just turns on and shuts off by itself. I do know that it's the experimental mode that this part lights up so we can, you know, turn on the lights and turn them off. So that's, that's another thing. But yeah, guys, uh... I know there wasn't really much to do in this episode. I mean, we did went to the Erota and all that, but um, yeah, there there wasn't much activity. I didn't have anything planned for this episode either way, but um, I hope you guys liked it. You know, I mean, I always try to do the best. I always try to entertain you guys as much as I can. Um, before we leave though, I just wanna, you know, instead of waiting for the next episode, we'll just do it now. We'll just you know color our freaking. Sea moth. Um. Oh, we hit the friggin'. We hit the moon pool. Alright, so right here, we can color it. We can call, We can name it. Um, I do have a name that I wanted to use for this sea moth. And his name is gonna be. His name is going to be Thomas. Thomas. Yep. The Sea Moth Thomas. The submersible name Thomas. Now, the color for it, um, we can choose any, you know, a lot of colors for this. Uh, I mean, like red looks good, but we can go yellow, we can go blue, we can go pink. I mean, this red looks actually pretty good. We can go black. All right, so. Um, Let's try black. I want to try black and pink. Um, the name will do white. Now we'll do it like, like a goldish color, like that. Um, what is this? What is this? What is this color? Oh, this is the inside. Wow, yo, that red looks awesome. Oh my god, maybe black and red is where we're gonna have to use it. Oh my god, yeah, it has to be black and red. It's gonna have to be black and red. 
Oh my god. Thomas. Thomas, you're looking like a badass. You're looking like a badass, bro. Sima Thomas 1. We should call it Thomas 1, not just Thomas. Um, so, we're gonna Sima Thomas 1. Oh, 01. There we go. That's more like it. That's more like it. Thomas 01. Oh my god, that's actually pretty cool. It looks so amazing. It looks freaking amazing. And then we have this fabricator right here. Where we can, you know, build the modules for the CMOS. We can do CMOS sonar. We got CMOS hole reinforcement. We got a bunch of stuff that we can use, guys. Um, but that will be on other episodes. Um, if you guys like it, like I said, please like, comment, subscribe for more. And I will see you on the next one with our adventure with the Sima Thomas, guys. All right, boys. See you on the next one. Peace out.